Introducing the 1982 Chevrolet S10, the all-new American-made pickup built to handle America's demand for a hard-working, economical truck. The S10 has a bold, brawny, full-size pickup look, from its distinctive front end to its stylish, ready-for-work business end that's built to handle tough jobs for commercial or personal applications. And its new practical size make this truck stand out. The S-Truck is smaller than the full-size Chevy pickup and larger than the typical import pickup. It delivers the kind of quality that today's consumer demands. From its high-gloss smooth paint finish, available in 10 colors, to the precise fit and alignment of its sheet metal. Aerodynamically, it cuts through the wind better than any Chevy truck that's been tested in the wind tunnel. There are two models to choose from. The short wheelbase model features a box that provides a full six feet of cargo load length. The long box model offers nearly seven and one half feet of cargo load length. Both boxes are nearly five feet wide. Standard gross payload is 1,000 pounds, including cargo and passengers. A 1,500 pound payload package is optional. Either way, selecting the right payload capacity is simple because payload capacity is not affected by the additional weight of any optional equipment. The S-Truck comes in four trim levels, the base S10 and three optional versions. Mid-level, Durango, the luxurious Tahoe, and the top-of-the-line Sport, an exciting version of the Tahoe. Each trim offers a distinct level of interior styling and function. The S10 starts at an impressive level of standard features, including a full foam bench seat with folding seat back, color key door trim panels and headliner, padded armrests and sunshades. The Durango offers an up-level style that will appeal to those who want a little more. Or choose the Tahoe trim, featuring a foam cushion full bench seat in velour cloth or leather grain vinyl, full door trim panels with handy storage pockets and carpeted inserts that match its deep cut pile carpeting. Chevy Tahoe, the kind of luxury interior that rivals fine passenger cars. For a sportier interior, the top of the line sport option includes high back bucket seats with custom cloth trim, a locking center console, and color keyed sport steering wheel. Every S truck features a standard instrument panel that's not only well laid out and functional, but good looking as well. Instruments are easily read, controls easily reached, like this convenient switch for the headlamp dimmer, turn signals, and windshield wiper and washers. The S-Truck's cab with its standard bench seat and three seat belt positions is designed to seat three passengers. There's plenty of shoulder room, and in fact there's more leg room than most full-size pickups. The S-Truck offers a wide selection of options, like halogen headlamps, sliding rear window, tilt steering wheel and power steering, cruise control, power windows and power door locks, air conditioning, four different sound systems, and more. To efficiently move the S-Truck, whether it's empty or fully loaded, there's a choice of two power plants. The standard 1.9-liter four-cylinder engine offers great fuel economy. In fact, when it's paired with the standard four-speed manual transmission, it has a federal EPA-estimated MPG of 28, 39 estimated highway. In California, the numbers are 28 and 40, respectively. For even more power with impressive economy, choose the optional 2.8-liter V6 engine. A properly equipped Chevy S-Truck with the V6 can pull 4,000 pounds. That's double the 2,000 pounds that most economy trucks are rated to tow. Either engine can be teamed with four-speed manual transmission or optional three-speed automatic with a torque converter clutch. An optional five-speed manual with overdrive will be available with the V6 in early 1982. The Chevy S-Truck has been designed, engineered, and tested to deliver the traditional built-in value found throughout Chevrolet's truck lineup, like double wall construction. In the hood, in the fenders, in the doors, in the pickup box sidewalls, in the tailgate. Every major component is designed and engineered for value. The S-Truck's independent front suspension features similar component design of a Chevy full-size pickup. Both the front and rear suspensions are designed to allow plenty of vertical wheel movement to help absorb the bumps. Computer-matched soft-ride coil springs are used in the front. Two-stage, multi-leaf springs are used in the rear. 
These spring combinations help provide impressive ride and maneuverability, whether empty or when carrying a maximum payload. Great fuel economy, impressive performance, all around toughness, smooth riding comfort, and handsome styling, all part of the built-in value that's designed into Chevrolet's all-new S10. Today's pickup buyer looks for many things when making a purchase decision. But it always boils down to one simple word, value. Not only value in terms of good fuel economy, but value in the functional design and quality construction of the vehicle. Chevrolet's new S10 pickup is the new size American-made pickup that sets high standards for value. Built in from the ground up. The S10's long list of value features starts right here with this tough, rugged ladder-type frame. It's accurately welded by automatic welding machines for precise dimensional control and structural integrity. Box section side rails add strength and support up front where the engine, transmission, and suspension are mounted. Toward the rear, deep channel section side rails like those of a Chevrolet full-size pickup the entire frame is painted with a corrosion inhibitor, then given a complete coating of hot wax to help fight rust. Up front, the S10 features an independent suspension system. Rugged upper and lower control arms and coil springs work together to allow each front wheel to soak up bumps independently of the other. The coil springs are computer selected to match the calculated front end weight of each vehicle and this helps contribute to consistent ride and handling qualities. The S10 effectively combines long vertical wheel travel and smooth riding low rate springs to help provide impressive ride characteristics. Overall, it's the same type of front suspension design that helps deliver the smooth, comfortable ride of Chevrolet's mid-size rear wheel drive passenger cars. The use of multi-leaf springs at the rear also contributes to the S10 smooth ride. And the two-stage design enables this pickup to handle payloads up to 1,500 pounds, including cargo and passengers. Each spring has four leaves, three of which provide light spring action when the pickup is unloaded or carrying light cargo. And with heavier loads, a stiffer fourth leaf comes into play for firmer support. Like the front springs, the rear springs are also computer selected and matched to specific payload requirements. This helps provide a balanced ride. The S10 standard tires are long-lasting glass-belted radials, specially chosen for their low rolling resistance to help contribute to fuel efficiency. Of course, a major value feature of this new pickup is its power team lineup that combines terrific fuel economy with impressive performance. The standard engine is a very efficient 1.9-liter four-cylinder. It's coupled with a standard four-speed manual transmission. The federal EPA mileage estimates for this combination are 28 estimated MPG, 39 estimated highway. In California, 28 EPA estimated MPG, 40 estimated highway. Impressive economy in the city and on the highway. For power to haul heavier loads, a 2.8-liter V6 is available. With it comes the ability to tow trailers weighing up to 4,000 pounds when the vehicle is properly equipped. That's twice the capability of any import pickup. A four-speed manual transmission is base equipment for either engine. And a five-speed manual with overdrive will be available with the V6 engine early in 1982. A three-speed automatic is also available for either engine. It offers all the advantages of an automatic, plus it features a torque converter clutch that provides a direct mechanical link between the engine value. And this new pickup not only offers built-in value in how it's designed and engineered, but in how it's put together as well.
Design objectives in the manufacture and assembly of the S10 help assure a precise fit. And fit for many consumers is one of the major criterion in perceiving value. General Motors' approach to meeting this challenge is a process called net build. In simple terms, net build means the absence of relatively wide variations in the fit and spaces between sheet metal panels. Good examples of the S10 fit are the seam lines in the cab, the small even spaces between the hood and fender and around the doors. Net build also works to help provide a precise fit by minimizing the adjustments workers have to make during assembly. For instance, a simple bracket located here controls the attachment and relative positions of the fender, hood, and door. Combining these alignments into a one-piece bracket eliminates several separate adjustments, reducing the chances for wide variations. The door hinge is precisely positioned, then welded in place instead of bolted. Again, eliminating the need for assembly line adjustments. Achieving accurate alignment between the cab and the pickup box has also been simplified. A single bracket attached to each side of the frame is used to mount and align both the rear of the cab and the front of the pickup box. Consistency and uniformity, a precise fit, all part of the S10's built-in value. Just as fit is a measurement of perceived value, so too is finish. The exterior appearance that looks good now and keeps on looking that way. In addition to the extensive use of special corrosion resistant steels, the front end sheet metal, cab, box and many small parts are dipped in a bath of electrostatically charged primer. This process magnetically draws the paint to the metal, including seams and hard to get at corners and crevices. The lower body sides are sprayed with a special chip resistant coating that helps protect against minor stone chipping. After this, all exterior sheet metal gets a coat of polyester-based primer surfacer. Then, utilizing modern developments in paint application technology, the truck's finished coat of beautiful acrylic enamel goes on. It's a high solid enamel, formulated to produce a deep high gloss finish. Chevrolet's new S-Truck. From individual parts and components to precise fit. From raw metal to high gloss finish. From design to finished product. It's the smart new pickup that sets high standards for value from the ground up. For the successful salesperson, there's nothing more important than selling the value that's built into every 1982 Chevy truck. The most effective way of presenting value to the customer is with the position selling technique. This is nothing more than a specific method of pointing out value features as you walk around the truck. After qualifying the prospect and selecting the vehicle, start your position selling by walking the prospect through five basic selling positions. The front of the truck, the passenger side, the rear area, the driver's side, and inside the passenger compartment. To help you develop a successful sales presentation with a basic approach using the position selling technique, step into the shoes of a prospective S10 pickup buyer and listen carefully as we take a walk around the S truck. I'd like to show you the all-new S-Truck. You can get it in either a short wheelbase model with a six-foot box or a long wheelbase model with a box that's nearly seven and a half feet long. And you can choose from four available trim levels. This is the short wheelbase S10 with a top-of-the-line sport option. Take a look at the styling. It really stands out as a handsome new kind of pickup truck. It's smaller than Chevy's full-size pickup, but it still retains that bold, tough truck look. In fact, it looks and feels bigger than it really is. Basically, this truck was designed to offer owners three major features. Impressive fuel economy, the ability to work hard and carry a good size payload, and most importantly, the kind of built-in value people expect to find in a Chevrolet truck. Let me take a few minutes and show you what I mean. Not only does this stylish front end provide a clean, contemporary look, but it gives the truck impressive aerodynamics as well. In fact, the S10 cuts through the wind better than any truck ever offered by Chevrolet. Take a close look at the quality of the paint job. and Note how smooth and even fitting the sheet metal is. They're a good indication of a quality built truck. 
In fact, a lot of new and advanced thinking went into the engineering and assembly of the S10 to help assure a proper fit and finish. Of course, the fit and finish are only part of what makes a quality built truck. How ruggedly the truck is built to handle hard work is probably a more important measure of value. And this truck is tough. In fact, the S10 went through the same type of testing that helped prove the toughness of Chevy's full-size pickup. The fenders and hood are made with two steel walls, like our full-size pickup. This double wall construction contributes to toughness and rigidity. The wheel housings are steel, and this also adds to the truck's rigidity. There's a choice of two engines and three transmissions with the S10. A 1.9 liter four-cylinder engine and four-speed transmission are standard. It's a combination that'll provide great fuel economy. In fact, the federal EPA estimated MPG is 28. That's right. EPA estimated miles per gallon is 28. Estimated highway is 39. For more power, there's an optional 2.8 liter V6 engine. Order it and a properly equipped S10 can tow up to 4,000 pounds. With either engine, you can order an optional three-speed automatic transmission, and there's a five-speed manual with overdrive available. Now, before I shut the hood, I want to point out some other standard value features, like how neat the underhood layout is, spark plugs within easy reach, the wiring and hoses neatly routed, helps make servicing easy. And this is Delco's Freedom 2 battery. Never needs water, and it eliminates normal maintenance requirements. Also standard is the electronic ignition. It helps provide fast starts and eliminates the need to replace points or an ignition condenser. Now let's walk around here. One of the most significant features of this new truck is its impressive ride and the independent front suspension plays a big part in that. The basic design is very similar to the suspension that provides such a smooth ride in our mid-size rear-wheel drive cars. Steel upper and lower control arms and coil springs allow each front wheel to act independently of the other. And this helps absorb road bumps before they get to you. Glass-belted high-pressure radial tires are standard on every S truck. And the front disc brakes have low drag calipers. Both these features help reduce the truck's rolling resistance. And this contributes to fuel efficiency. Now let's take a look underneath. Look into the mirror and you'll see the backbone of this truck, a rugged ladder type frame. We painted it gray so it stands out. It features channel section steel side rails, like our full size pickup. At the front, Box section side rails are used to provide added support for the engine, transmission, and suspension. The entire frame is coated with a special paint and covered with hot wax to help fight rust. And notice the exhaust system. It's fully aluminized to help resist corrosion. Speaking of corrosion protection, I want to point out what's been done to help this S10 stay looking good. Special corrosion resistant steels are used extensively throughout the truck. For example, this one piece door frame is zinc coated steel. So are the inner and outer door panels. After assembly, the entire cab, front end sheet metal and pickup box are completely submerged in a bath of primer and every nook and cranny gets covered. And if that's not enough, all exterior sheet metal gets an additional coat of special primer. A wax coating is sprayed inside the lower part of the door. Now you know how easy it is for the tires to kick up small stones that can chip the paint? Well, to help prevent that, the entire lower body side gets a coat of chip-resistant plastic. Here you can feel it. The S10's multi-leaf rear suspension not only handles hefty payloads, it also helps smooth the ride. Notice the three longer spring leafs? They provide light spring action when the box is empty or carrying a light load. But for firmer support or heavier loads, this hefty fourth leaf comes into play. This is called two-stage progressive spring action. Another big value feature back here is the quality construction of the pickup box. The tailgate opens easily with just one hand. And it's double wall, just like our full-size pickup. See those ribs in the floor? They add to rigidity 
and help you slide bulky cargo in and out easily. By the way, this entire box floor is made of corrosion-resistant galvanized steel. The box sides are also double-walled. That's not just for added rigidity. It also helps keep minor dents inside from showing up outside. Standard gross payload is a half ton, 1,000 pounds. Of course, that includes cargo and passengers. There's also a 1,500 pound capacity available. Notice the design of the wraparound taillight? This nifty looking step bumper is standard with a sport trim. And if you'll step around here, I'll show you some of the other sport features, like these sporty style wheels with the bright trim rings. Along with the two-tone paint, the body side moldings are standard with the sport option, or you can order them separately if you like. The standard fuel tank capacity is 13 gallons, but if you're interested in stretching the miles between fill-ups, an optional 20-gallon tank can be ordered to replace the standard tank. Now let me show you some of the value that's built into the S10 cab. First of all, notice how wide the door opening is. It's purposely designed that way to help make it easy to get in and out. Here's another convenience feature. This seat back folds forward, revealing this handy storage area. Let you carry a tote bag or maybe some hand tools. Keeps them out of sight. These high back bucket seats with custom cloth trim are standard with the Sport, along with the lockable center console. All other trim levels are standard with a three-passenger full foam bench seat with a folding seat back. You should readily notice the amount of roominess this truck offers. In fact, there's even more leg room in here than some full-size pickups. Look how the instrument panel is laid out. Controls are easy to reach, and instruments are easy to read. An optional gauge package is included with the Sport. Right at your fingertips is this handy switch that controls the headlamp dimmer, turn signals, and windshield washer and wipers. An inside hood release is a standard feature. These are just some of the value features that help make the S10 comfortable and pleasant to own. It's really got a lot to offer. Great fuel economy, good looks, up to 1,500 pounds payload, a rugged truck build, plenty of room and comfort, and there are 10 colors to choose from and several optional two-tone combinations. You can outfit your truck the way you like it, with options such as tilt steering wheel, cruise control, power windows and door locks, sliding rear window, to name a few. In addition to the base trim level and this top-of-the-line sport, there are two other optional levels, the Durango and the luxurious Tahoe. Each trim level offers different features and looks. To really appreciate this truck, its quality and value have to be, to be experienced behind the wheel, on the road. I'll tell you what, I've got a demonstrator gassed up and ready to go. Come on, and I'll show you how great it is to drive.